So June 2022, pause this and then have a go at it and then look at my answers as we go through. So um, we've got large number of coloured beads, 14% are red. So I might change to red. So 14% are red. OK, we've got 18 beads, a uh, random sample of 18 beads from the sack we're going to take. Stage is suitable. So we've got, uh, I'll come back to the suitability. So we know it's binomial, so n has got to be 18, and the probability of success getting a red bead is 0.14. Use this, so we want to find just one bead, so we want it equal to one, and this one we want at least, so it's got to be greater than or equal to four. So this one's straightforward on binomial PD, because that's point, so that's equal to. And this one we're going to do on binomial CD, which is cumulative, which only does less than or equal to. So this is the issue here. So the PD1, nice and straightforward, you've got 0 0.19403, which is 0 0.194 to 3 sig figs. At least three significant figures, if not four, because the um, old uh, tables that we used to have were four. So three or four is absolutely fine but generally on the maths the front of the paper it'll say round to four so to do we only can do less than or equal to if you have the class whiz so what we do is we draw out so I always start with zero because of course you can have no successes so that is one to always consider and people forget and then I usually put the numbers one before and one after the numbers that we're interested in and then dot 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 the last number which is 18 we want greater than or equal to four so that means four or five, but not three. So we want this lot. The probability of less than or equal to 18 is one. So we can work out that, and then we need to chop off this bit. So we've got the probability of less than or equal to 18 take away the probability of less than or equal to three because we can only do less than or equal to in our calculator. Okay which gives us 1 minus 0 0.76184, which gives me 0 0.2381588, which gives me 0 0.23823 sig figs. If you've got the posh calculator, of course, go to cumulative for both of these, put 1 and 1 in your lower and higher, so that it gives you the answer equal to 1, and here put 4 as the lower and 18 as the higher, because that is the maximum you can get. Or if you're used to putting 999, that's fine. Comment on the suitability. Now, this is where, with binomial, you need to think about the fact that it's B, N, P. So B is the by part. So there's success and failure. In this case, it's red or not red. The N is a set number of trials. In this case, it was 18. The P needs to be a constant probability. And the last one, probability, ability, there we go. And the last one is independent events. Now, each one is independent. However, the constant probability one is the issue. If you've got a small number of beads, every time you take out a bead, whether it's red or not red, you're going to affect the probability because it's going to change. Um, so there's the biggest issue. So. It's only going to be suitable, so if the total or the beads in the bags or the number of beads in the bags, bags number is small, then the probability will change. If the number of beads in the bag is large, then taking 18 out isn't going to make that much difference to the probability. So could be suitable. As it might not change the overall probability for getting the red out. So that's the biggest issue that you need to check. And that's it.